I'm Rick Heppelfinger, uh, president and co-owner of Heppelfinger Meats in Drumsville, Ohio. This is a family-owned operation. I'm third generation. My grandfather started in meat business in 1934 during the Depression. The facility that we operate of now was built in 1963, and we currently employ 23 people on the payroll. Uh, we have as well as four family members involved. I have a daughter, Erica, who runs the retail meat market for us, and my son, Ryan, is in charge of the Kill 4 operation. And I have a wife, Terry, also, that assists in doing the book work. Our weekly production here right now is currently between 110 and 130 head of cattle a week. And we also slaughter and process anywhere from 450 to 500 hogs here a week. We're basically a wholesale operation. We deliver meat into Cleveland. We go into Columbus. We're around Akron, Canton. And we cover about an 80 mile radius of, of Drumsville here, which is, you know, we're pretty much centrally located in an hour and a half out of Cleveland, an hour and a half north of Columbus. So we've got a great location, we think, for our wholesale business. We have uh, a retail store here where we offer retail meat to local people, and uh, that's probably about 5% of our business. And we also do a lot of slaughter, custom harvesting, and delivering of custom cattle for small processors that, doesn't, that, that don't have a kill for. What separates us from a lot of people is we not only offer beef, we offer pork and lamb also, but what separates us from maybe the big packing plants when we're selling to a wholesaler, we basically provide meat to mom and pop, family owned and operated meat markets. And that's, that's kind of what our niche is. The future of this business probably depends a lot on our clientele and we, we're, we're changing constantly how we run this operation. I mean, we are dealing with a lot more ethnic groups now than we used to in the past and, we are, and re religious belief groups and we have to kind of cater to them because we think that's where the industry is heading for a small packer like us. Packers like us are very few and small, far between. Right now we are currently the largest red meat harvester in the state of Ohio under state inspection. My family's been in the meat business ever since, ever since I was born and uh, growing up of course I was in 4-H and FFA and exhibited cattle at the fair and at the Ashton County Fair for years. We get very involved, involved with all the local fairs around here. We harvest livestock from probably out of 10 different county fairs here. We have a small cow-calf operation, my son and I, Ryan, do, and we do a little grain farming, about 350 acres. So when we get out of this meat plant after working 10 or 12 hours a day, we go farm. I think a lot of the changes that we've helped here make on a local, on a local scene is having the carcass shows and getting the youth in, which is the future of what we're, you know, what we're looking for here. We need to get the youth involved in, in raising cattle and, in, and interested in the beef industry. And they come in and it's pretty hard to believe. Uh, we've got a lot of young kids coming here, 9, 10, 11 years old, and are anxious to see what their cattle look like on the rail. See how big those rib eyes are, how much marbling they have in them. And this is something that we take a lot of pride in and having these shows here, and we have tremendous involvement. We're very proud of that, and uh, glad to see that the beef industry is headed in a, in a good direction. For me, uh, I've, 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 I've done this, this is all I've ever done my entire life, and we have grown from a small building that only had five employees and maybe would harvest 40 animals a week, and we've, we're now to the place where we're harvesting in excess of 600 animals a week, and we're very proud of that. It takes a lot of work and a lot of effort. A lot of thanks has to go out to my employees because without them, I'm nobody. And I have, I have family and my family's involved in the business and that's very important with me. And I have a lot of tenured employees here. I have probably 40% of my employees here have over 20 years with me here at this company. And I'm very grateful to them. And without them, I wouldn't be talking here today, to be honest with you.